So this is the exterior of 2025 Thames View. When I say Thames, it's like the River Thames, you know, London. The house actually itself faces east. The back of the house faces west. So it's always great when you have a nice swimming pool. So now let's take a look at south, going down the neighborhood. You can see the beautiful lampposts, the nice trees, the gorgeous desert landscaping. This is looking out across the street. So now we're actually looking east. This is looking south. Here's your next door neighbors immediately to the right of you as you look at the house. So we can't get inside because we have a non-responsive seller's agent, but that's okay. So let's take a look at uh, the landscaping. Let's take a, take a look at the house itself. Oh, looks like we're gonna get in. So here's the side of the house. And here you can kind of get a peekaboo view of the kind of view that you can expect from the back of the house. Nice air conditioning unit. Looks like you've got a larger unit and a smaller unit. Two zones on this side. You've got three car garage. You've got one there. I guess that's supposed to be for your smaller car or maybe even golf cart. And two car garage here. So he's walking the house. Nice, beautiful, tall ceilings. Yeah, the house is a little worse for wear. You've got worn out carpet. Beautiful finish work though in the ceilings. Look at that. Look at the wainscoting all the way around. Wow. And the crown molding. So this, I guess, would be family room, dining room, whatever it might be. I'm not too sure. So walk into the back of the house. And you've got, okay, here's your large family room with your television, flat screen television and everything else. Kitchen, granite countertops, espresso colored cabinets. Looks like some handles are missing. Crazy wine motif, okay. No appliances, of course. If we look, there's a back deck. There's a culvert there for water, drainage runoff, which means you know they're not gonna build, maybe on the other side they'll build. And you've got an amazing view of the mountains. No pool, no water features. Okay, now let's go to the right of the family room. And here we have a good size bedroom. Again, great view outside, desert scape. Nice covered patio. You got a view of the city. Of course, you have to look outside. So there's the uh, there's South Point and everything else. And then if you look further out, not too sure if you can see it. You've got downtown Las Vegas. And I'm sure it lights up beautifully at night. <laughs> Jacob's going to catch a few rays. Oh, it looks like they installed uh, some type of outside shower to cool down and rinse themselves off there after. Was, uh, originally, um, they had a hot tub. Oh, okay. So there was originally a hot tub out here. Okay, that makes sense. So master bath, step in shower, soaking tub commode, nice large walk-in closet. I mean, this is actually pretty fair size. I mean, this house actually is in pretty great shape. 
get rid of the wainscoting, get rid of the wallpaper, what I would normally call a mop and blow linen closet. So that's one bedroom that looks like the master that's right off of the family room and kitchen. Update the pendulum, the pendant lights. This is the dining room. Here you can see where they tried to take the wallpaper off and then paint, which is kind of crazy. So now moving to the front of the house, you have another room here, which is like a den. Technically does not qualify for a bedroom because it does not have bedroom closet, but I mean that could be easily remedied. Full bathroom, plastic tub, toilet, dual vanity. Here you have a bedroom. Of course now, this one has a closet. So you can see, you can easily turn this into a three bedroom house just by doing a build out on the other side. So this is, this technically right now is just a two bedroom house. This door goes out to the one car garage. So here's your one car garage. My Fiat would fit nicely here. So here's your one car garage. You've got your, used to be Vicky's room, right? So you got one bedroom here. You got the bathroom with the dual vanities. And I'm sure they had the choice of making this into a bedroom or not. And all you would have to do is just copy what was done in the other room, which is to, build, to put in a built-in closet, and this would actually qualify for a third bedroom. So now let's, we, this is one area we didn't explore. So we have here, laundry room, washer, dryer, hookup, sink, room for cabinets. This of course goes out to the two car garage. Nice, spacious two car garage. Oh wow, you've got an insulated hot water tank. Never seen that before, where it's actually insulated against the cold. It's plumbed in properly. It's in a bit of a pan. It's strapped in and it's actually raised off the floor. There you have it. That's the correct way of putting in a hot water heater. Looks like it's gas since it's vented out, which makes it much more efficient and, of course, energy friendly and a little less on your hot water bill or electric bill. Hmm. This, all in all, is a great house. 2,220 square feet. Okay, so 2025 Thames View, let's talk numbers.